Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. And today, we're talking about benching with monolith attachments. Now you can see I have the bar set up in the rack here with these monolith attachments and these go in real easy. These are rogue uh, monolith attachments. I have a rogue rack. I know Titan makes some of these as well and I'm sure there's other manufacturers out there. But this is a great tool in which you can use if you have to typically self unrack the bar. Because you're eventually gonna get to a point where the weight is just so insurmountable, you're not able to easily get it out of the rack. Especially if you're very dialed in with your technique, you're gonna hit that wall sooner to where getting that weight out of the rack and staying engaged with your lats is a really daunting task. And if you do not have a handoff, it almost becomes impossible. So this is a great alternative, although it's not the same as receiving a handoff, you just, you're not gonna be able to beat those leverages. You are gonna still have to press up into the bar a little bit with these, but they are going to help immensely and are our best alternative. So I'm gonna show you how these work and some considerations in which you'll wanna take in, into account when utilizing these. So first off, I, they go in easy. I'd make sure that they are set at the proper height all right, we just want to lift this bar up just enough to clear the mono so it can swing back. All right, we don't want to have to press too high up and we don't need them uh, to be too high up to where right, we are ending up over pressing to get the weight out. We want to make sure we can stay packed down with our lats. Quite like your regular bench press, you're going to go through the same setup process. Nothing else changes really. Same setup process with whatever you're benching on. Now, the weight isn't gonna be back here. The weight is already gonna be out in position out front. That's the major difference when getting tight to this bar, okay? So you're not gonna be able to really leverage with it like you would when you're on the rack, like when we're placing our feet down. If we push forward here, it's not like we're getting much leverage there, we're just pushing everything forward. All right, so you're gonna have to make sure that you're real efficient with your setup, drive all your weight back onto your trap. But when utilizing this, all right, it makes it so that you can just come right up with the weight and then you are good to go. This should be your final position. So everything that we think about when thinking about a good unrack process, getting that weight out into position, we're already getting to that final position when we're utilizing a tool like these, okay? Again, pretend like you are already dragging that weight out. So we should be engaging our lats. You could even set up a little further down the pad so that it almost replicates, right? More of that drag out process that you would get with a self unrack. Okay, so set tight to that bar, drag the weight out in position with the lats, press up just enough for those to swing out and my lats are already engaged. When I press up, I'm making sure I keep a good spread to the bar. I'm bending the bar and I'm coming up just enough so that I can clear those attachments. So those are some of the major differences when you're working with these attachments. Another thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind is that when you get that weight out of the mono, you wanna make sure you're fully locked out. I've explained this in videos before. This is going to allow us to load our backs effectively. If we are semi-locked out or we're soft through the elbows and we don't completely get to a locked out position, we're not loading our backs. We're gonna end up loading our arms, our triceps, and our chest, things we do not want to be loading. We want all that tension right in the back. We are the wedge between that bar and the bench pad. So we have to wedge ourselves into that position. So you have it guys. Those are some of the major differences here with these mono attachments. Again, these are the Rogue brand. I know some others sell them. Look for them, it's a great option if you have a good power rack and you're left to have to uh, unrack yourself. This will allow you to do it with heavy weights. Otherwise, you have to rely on a handoff and we know you can't always get one. So. There you have it guys, Coach Ben here. And you know where to find me. You can meet me.
in the rack on the bench. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about how to increase your bench press, consider joining us in our Better Benching Academy. To learn more, simply click the link down below in the description box or visit bigbenches.com BB Academy. I'll see you there.